Adio, I welcome you to your Dream TV. It is the station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through business studies from one. The topic it is the production. Uh, lesson number 13. I'm your tutor, Rusin Mudan. Welcome. Now let us look at lesson objectives. You are going to distinguish between direct and indirect production. Then describe the levels of production and occupation relating to each. We start by direct and indirect production. Now, when we talk about the direct production, it refers to the production of goods and services for one's, one's own personal consumption. For example, when you look at that image that is next to us, that photograph, it is showing us a family where now they are priming or they are cultivating what they need to consume at their own. If I tell you look at it, it is just a small portion. So they are producing for their own consumption. It is also referred to as the subsistence production. They include building one's house, buying one's food, Cultivating like the way you can see they are cultivating a piece of land or there is direct production. Features. It encourages individualism. This is where now you produce things that you can consume alone. And that one makes you to be individual. You don't interact with others. You don't go to buy the sukuma wiki from the market. No. You build your own house. You don't go to living town. You don't rent. Don't become a landlord. So you are producing for your own consumption. Number two, raw quality and quantity goods are produced. So when I talk about I'm producing my own skirts, it means that uh, I'm just going to produce of any quality. Don't want high quality. I cannot go on spraying. I cannot go produce a huge amount of, of huge of it. I cannot produce large quantities. So I'm producing a small quantity of raw quality. Number three, it leads to low standards of living. This is now making that you don't produce goods that you can sell to other people. So as a result, you don't earn any, any income. And living in a low standard of living since you cannot get any income to raise your standard of living. Number four, can be very tired. In case an individual attempt to produce all goods for one use. For example, a point where now you produce everything that you can be able to consume. You give, you produce, or you cultivate maize, you also cultivate beans, you also cultivate the greens, that is the kales, the, the cabbages, that you can be able to produce. Other things that you make the oil, you make your own house, all this one it is expensive and also tiring. Since producing things that you can be able to pro to use you don't rely on buying it is a tiring then number five limit innovation and invention so you cannot think outside the box you cannot think of anything else so it limits that number two we look at the indirect production this is the production of goods and services with a view to selling the excess in order to acquire goods and services from other people through trade. Each person concentrates in production of goods and services that he or she can produce best, leaving other people to produce other goods and services. Characteristics of the features. Uh, production with the aim of exchanging. For example, you can be able to see there are cows that are being produced in that farm. They are, uh, they cannot be consumed by one uh, family. So in this one now, I'm producing with the name of exchanging, with the name of selling and getting other commodities. Number two. The specialized, there is a specialization in production. 
you specialize in chess production. Then somebody else specialized in mass production. So in that case, now you get that you are going to produce to the best. You are going to invest to the best. Then modern production methods are employed. Number four, surplus goods are exchanged through trade. Then time wasted, wasted as one moves from one job to another. And then lack of specialization in production. Uh, I want to make clarification. There is point number five, six, and seven. These are for the uh, direct production. Time wasted as one moves from one job to another. That is direct production. Lack of specialization. That is direct production. Assignment. Outline three characteristics of direct production. Then outline four factors that may account for, for predominant direct production. Reference KRB 2011, Inventor Secondary Business, Student Book 1, that edition. If I tell you have any question, you can send it via the SMS, YouTube, and also the Facebook and Twitter. Stay tuned, Trading TV. Thank you.